Last time I talked to you, we had dealt with the quadratic formula, which minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, in this quadratic formula, and quadratics in general, we know that this calculation gives me the x-intercepts. And so, if I have a graph, I know that the graph could be upside down or right side up, looks roughly something like that. And what I can do, though, is I know that graph could go like this, the graph could go like this, or the graph might be like this. Those are the th all pointing upwards and downwards. Those are the three possibilities that this graph could have. And so when it's this one here, and let me make it yellow, when I look at the yellow graph, when it's here, I have two real roots. When I look at the red graph, it has one real root. And when I look at the blue graph, it has zero real roots. So zero x-intercepts, one x-intercept, two x-intercepts. Okay, now the thing that will d determine that for us is simply going to be this calculation down here. This part here will tell us all about the types of roots. If this calculation is negative, I have a square root of a negative number, which doesn't work in real numbers, which means it's up in the sky somewhere, it does not cross the x-axis. If this equals zero, then my x-intercept is minus b over 2a. And if this is a positive number, then I get two x-intercepts. And this thing here is known as delta, which equals b squared minus 4ac, and we call it the determinant. Determinant. And so I know the determinant if b squared minus 4ac is positive. That means there are two real roots. Roots, x-intercepts, solutions, zeros, all the same thing. If b squared minus 4ac equals zero, then there is exactly one real root, and it bounces. It's actually called a double root because it's used twice. And then we also have b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, means there are two non-real roots or imaginary roots. And we're going to be talking about imaginary roots in this course in the near future. So we can use this determinant to find out things about roots. Let us me come up with an equation for you. Let me try this. Um, let me go over, make, make a new page. Okay, and so what this says, my, my question is going to be, my question is, if I have k squared, k, no, kx squared, let me try that again. Okay, I have kx squared plus 4x minus 16 equals 0. What does k have to be in order to guarantee two real roots? Well, if I'm going to get real roots, I'm going to look at my determinant. I want this calculation to be positive. Plug values in, I get 4 squared minus 4 times k times negative 16, bigger than 0, 16 plus, oh, 4 times 16, help me out here, computer, 4 times 16, 64, just double checking, 
is 64. Okay, bigger than zero, bigger than zero. Subtract it over, 64k is bigger than negative 16. So k is bigger than negative 16 divided by 64, which is negative 1 quarter. So whenever k, whenever k is bigger than negative 1 quarter, if that's true, there are two real roots. That's how some of those problems work. They get a little bit more complicated, but it's always the same idea.